Folks, we are super stoked to be here this evening. I am your host and caster, Waffles for Sid. Ex Machina is gonna get pushed back here off the point, but it looks like they're also opting for a more of a soft regroup here. Now they're trying to retreat much more though, as they realize they made a mistake and did not, did not respect the space and the aggression coming out from throwing her bad. Looking for a cheeky place to get this high enough, but oh, what a, what a, a media pick right now there's in. Radio kicks it off with one pick, but he does fall very low. Steezy Meezy is the sniper for throwing her bad, getting his own pick. But Weepika comes in with the revenge onto Steezy Meezy. Throwing her bad is going to be down their speedy healer and their movement. That is very essential. Kills are going back and forth between the teams, and Ex Machina seems to be getting quite a strong foothold here on the point. The kills are solidly in their favor now. This is going to be a trickle game for throwing her bad to try to you know, get a few last percentage ticks before it's flipped over to Ex Machina. We see McCrew is on that of, on the Widowmaker now, trying to con try to trying to contest him. But uh, there he is. Now he's got that shield there, trying to wait and peek that corner. But Radio's already moved around. Now it's a dance of the Widowmakers here as they're gonna keep peeking around the corners and doing those little pop and squat shots. So far, though, throwing or bad only has 103 left on the clock, and oh, there's the pick coming out for their team. Who's broke hits a lot of people with that fire strike, but the Earth Shatter is too obvious and is blocked by Breezy in response. The Ant Matrix comes out from Ex Machina, and there's a lot of damage coming through and pump and going into throwing or bad. They're trying to back out of the way, but it's actually Caboose here on this side flank that's coming up pretty lethal, taking down another healer. Oh man, he misses the Hanzo, but manages to fan the hammer just in time. Bray finally taking him out of the equation, but throwing her bad. 30 seconds left on the clock and rolling the payload forward towards the third checkpoint. Right now, Breezy is on that high ground and he has that earth shatter. So he's going around the back for the slam. Boom, Ooh, finds three people there and continues to charge straight through them. Radio's got another snipe coming in for his favor. And after that, it is tough for throwing her bad. They don't have the resources. They're losing players one after another. And it's only gonna be a Widowmaker here that can contest if possible, but that's gonna be a round one completion with Popple out of the equation, it's gonna be tough, especially with Arrow continuing to put that damage in. And he takes down Excal as well. Without Popple there to put any pressure on Arrow, he just has free reign to continue firing at the sky. Lola's RJ goes through, does manage to escape though, and well, thankfully that Diva DMs him and prevents those bullets from coming through because he would have been melted at the end. Great teamwork coming out from Shinobu, and it actually enables Lola's RJ to get the kill in the back line onto Arrow. Ooh, what a great flip coming through just by the skin of their teeth. Trickle game here for Drifters to try to maintain any kind of presence on the point. They're not going to be able to do it. And that, my friends, is a 1-1 match here to kick off this round on control. Ooh, it's getting spicy, Tropic.